How to use excitons in electronics. Let's consider an electron sitting on a plane. If this electron gets a photon, it'll have more energy and jump out of its position. But it will still be attracted to the seat by the belt. An exciton is formed by an electron and what is referred to as a hole. Here the empty seat, bound by a Coulomb force. Here the belt. Until now, exciton-based transistors were successfully demonstrated, but only at low temperatures of the order of minus 173 degrees Celsius. Thanks to the use of two different two-dimensional materials, EPFL researchers could create excitons at room temperature. They were also able to make them last longer and can control their motion within the materials. In the end, the electron always falls back into the seat and emits a photon. <laughs>